Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love Reading. Shout out to all of the beautiful Scorpios of the world, uh, my members, my subscribers, just being a Scorpio. Especially shout out to those who joined me on my live the other night. It was everything, Scorpio. It was so nice to see you guys, Scorpio. Shout out to all the male, handsome, abundant Scorpios, uh, Robert Smiley, Derek Antonio. Uh, big ups to you, big props. Uh, Y'all, Robert said, he said, I don't know what's wrong with these Scorpios in here today. He said, geez. <laughs> he said he felt like the feminine Scorpios was on one here. Uh, you know, but we're misunderstood because although the men are Scorpios, it's not the same. Because y'all just dabble in your emotions while the feminines live inside of their emotions, Robert. Okay, I'm just saying, but nice seeing you, Robert, after so long. I hope you're having a very, very beautiful new year here, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio Robert. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> so, Scorpio, <clears throat> uh, your live reading was very, very telling. You remember, if you, if you did not join that live reading, go back uh, and see it because you had the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, freaking Six of Pentacles. Uh, somebody is about to get lit in their finances here. Now, you could be going to school, you're traveling, you're launching a very, very uh, successful business or career, or someone is about to make it rain on Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, this here is a general, so it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio. Uh, <clears throat> I had a... a a Pisces in the comment section. He was like, oh, we love you, brown eyes, but I feel so left out because you don't do no Pisces reading. He said it on the Scorpio channel. So if you are cross watchers, I only do Scorpio for this channel because this is what it's about, Scorpio. But I do have another channel. It, it is at Truth Revealer 3363. Uh, I will be doing Capricorn and Pisces over there because uh, they, they was all in the comment section crying and thanks, Scorpio. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to reach out to you too. Um, as well as for the collective and the divine masculine, divine feminine, uh, in these, uh, divine, uh, connections, where do they stand? What is going on? We know that they're being challenged. They're being tested, but at the end of the day, everyone has their own free will. Remember Scorpio, you are the magician of your world. You are, you create the reality that you want. Uh, sometimes we need to embody that masculine Scorpio energy, Scorpio, where we are in our emotions, we, we have emotions, but we're not ran by our emotions because we have to be balanced here because <clears throat> nobody wants somebody who emotional, who always emotional, you know, we, it's just something that it, it don't work down here on this uh, dimension. You get eight alive here. So it's all right to be loving, nurturing, giving, but to a minimum here. Uh, ne never, ever, ever love, nurture, give to those who do not love, nurture, give you back. It has to be like a boomerang. Once you throw that love back at them, they should be throwing their love right on back to you, Scorpio. So we're going to begin your reading, Scorpio, to pull your energy from the Oracle of the Seven here. To see what is going on, what the Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio, what for your highest good here. Put on my, <laughs> my extra eyes here, Scorpio. So... Check it out, Scorpio. Your overall energy is smoke and mirrors. And I see also, I see this card again, which showed up in your other reading. Let it go. Got to let something go here. Something, something has expired here. Let's see, Spirit. What else for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know in this uh, experience? This experience here, this broken open. <clears throat> okay, right open here. A powerful move. The Oracle's gift, a great and full. Body and soul, a tall tale. So let me see. Give me one more card for Scorpio. So far you have smoke and mirrors and let it go. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio? What messages for Scorpio's highest good? Welcome, Scorpio. I hope everything is going good with you, Scorpio. I hope this video finds you vibing high. I hope you ain't letting nothing bother you. I heard Tatiana say I was freaky. What gives, Tatiana? I'm grown, honey. It, it ain't freaky when you're 51. Because I ain't chasing after nobody, but I can appreciate a nice looking man anytime. Because I'm certainly not into women. FYI, it ain't nothing freaky about me. It's just grown. That's all it is. Maybe you're mistaking that for something else. But no, it's a grown woman over here. I make no apologies about myself. 
And, and they say Scorpio's freaking anyway, but ain't nobody trying to do nothing. <laughs> y'all better make sure y'all check out that <laughs> what it is, Eric video. I left it in my description box below my other video because I want y'all to go directly. Now, look, man, Scorpio, this ain't for y'all. Usually y'all howling and hissing and barking, but now the women have a tree. You have roots in abundance. See? See that, Scorpio? You got a tree, Scorpio. I'm saying what it is. Everything's shining my life. And I ain't trying to holler, but I can I can appreciate a, a very, very <laughs> well-endowed <laughs> brother. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. So let's see here. <clears throat> you have 42 and 24. Look at this. Then you got two. You got a lot of twos. Look at look at look at your car's energy. You have a number two. 24 and 42. You have a lot of twos and a lot of fours in here. Two, two, four, then four, two. You see that? <laughs> so let's start off with your smoke and mirrors here. Number 42. <clears throat> yeah, y'all, the wind is just blowing. I can hear my wind chimes, but it reminds me of the spring. You know, like when April started coming, you, the wind is really blowing and you could just really smell the spring onions and it's, it seems like the earth starts coming alive here. You can start smelling all those things. And those wind chimes, they're so beautiful because they're so amazing. You don't see wind, but you see the evidence like the leaves blowing, like your wind chimes. It's just amazing. It really is amazing. Things that are so amazing, we take for granted and we just overlook the little things here, Scorpio. So let's see your number 42 card, bear with me, smoke and mirrors here, and I'm not going to read it all, I think I'm just going to read the key concept here, yeah, <clears throat> so it says, seeing through the lens of past conditioning, the inability to recognize the truth of what is being offered, healing from misguided perceptions, moving beyond the illusion of separation, being accountable for your biases and the way you view the world. See that, Scorpio? Ask yourself if what you see is really just what you're looking for. What does, what do you sense beyond your intellectual assessment of what is? Can you drop into your heart and soul, Scorpio, and call for a vision, a feeling, an awareness of the true and authentic? Every day, remind yourself that you are intrinsically connected to all life. The universe needs you to learn about it. You have within you extraordinary magic with which to co-create life beyond your wildest expectations. So today, Scorpio, trust that inner voice that reminds you that you truly will find what you seek and more even if outer conditions appear to challenge that, it's all smoke and mirrors. Things are not exactly as they seem. See, 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 you see that? It's in other words, and it's not just about your love relationship. It's about your money. Let's say if you don't have no money, just because you're, what you see does not mean that is what it is. Spirit telling you, you can procreate you have a say so you have to speak to it you, you got to speak to it you don't have to claim lack you don't have you don't have to claim disappointments and sometimes scorpio when you're looking at your love now let's talk about the love you're off <laughs> and you're just off scorpio your intuition because you're not listening to your intuition you're listening to your emotions this is why i say it would be kind of good if the feminine scorpios can kind of Move towards a more masculine approach when it comes to your emotions. Now, please believe you still you still have emotions. You still have love. You still have that gentle touch, but it's not vulnerable and it's not all over the place. Now you got the number 24. 2-4, two, which is 2-2-2. Two, two, two. <laughs> 24 for Scorpio. Let it go. Your other reading said let it go too, Scorpio. See? Let it go because some things you're not even seeing it right, Scorpio. You think that somebody, you know how it is, Scorpio. Okay, it says forgiveness, healing, resentments, <laughs> shedding the role of the eternal martyr, letting go of victimhood, cutting the ties that bind you to a destructive story, releasing pain so you can move into the lesson it offers, or relinquishing the need to be right, Scorpio. So it says, now is the time for radical, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, I'm going to say a word that you probably don't like. <laughs> if 
but I need you to hear me good. Now flip your. It says, now is the time for radical forgiveness. <laughs> Say no to drama in all forms and forgive yourself and others for engaging in it. Consider the ancient Hawaiian practice known as oof, ho oponopono ho oponopono. <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> it says ho opino openopino. Ho ho openopino. Ho openopino. Okay, that's what it's gonna be. Okay. This simple prayer is a beautiful way to begin the process of forgiveness. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. It's based on the idea that we are all responsible for the reality we see in the world. If something is a ray, whether it's your perception, your emotional reactions, your judgment, and so forth, it's up to you, Scorpio, to clean it up, huh, Miss Missy? Clean it up, Miss Missy. Forgiveness is the key to a liberated and meaningful life. See, no matter what method you choose, Scorpio Spirit is saying, just do it because it's bogging you down. It ain't hurting them. They got to do the same thing too, Scorpio, if they want healing, if they want happiness. And it don't mean you got to, it don't mean that you're trying to get somebody back. But I guarantee you, and this is how it is. I don't care what you say. And I love you, but I'm just saying, once you start forgiving and releasing those things, you'll start seeing things clearer. You'll start seeing things from an uh, undamaged emotional way. Because usually you're judging things based on how you feel emotionally. And that's the wrong time to be judging things because you're going to miss it. I'm not saying sometimes you're not wrong. You're not right, but it's your response in it. You, 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 you release things, Scorpio. You forgive. You make amends. You get the truth. You get the clarity, whatever. You can go on, create good karma. So the next time around, it will not fall back on you. And you won't have to repeat this. You won't have to go in another lifetime and that same energy come back around because there's still a lesson to be made. But you got the best for last. I said I say the best for last for Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scorpio, you have the roots of abundance here. Number two. Two is the twin flame. Uh, two is the soulmate connection here too. You don't need no third wheel here. Okay, Scorpio. It says being stabilized by deep roots. Anchoring yourself and feeling secure in your life, trust and believe in abundance, Scorpio. So it says here, if the message here is simple, your life is safe and secure, Scorpio, and your intentions are coming to fruition. All your hopes and dreams are firmly grounded and taken root so that you can reach for the stars in your life and expand your dreams and further than you can even imagine. Everything, I say everything, Scorpio, in the material world is a reflection of your internal world. Mm. Or your interior world, rather. Scorpio, you are unstoppable and unshakable because you believe that you are abundant. Know that you can easily move from merely surviving to thriving when you pay attention to staying grounded. If you find yourself in ungrounded thinking, now is the time for radical trust. This is radical trust. Those who suffer violence, Scorpio, take it by force. You got to get savage with it. You got to take it, Scorpio. Growth never follows a straight line. You will manifest what you need when you need it. A tall, healthy tree doesn't need to hold on to the ground for dear life. It knows it will not fly away with the wind because its roots are planted deep in the earth. And so are you, Scorpio. See that? Spirit says, stressing don't make it better. It makes it worse. Yeah. Stressing don't make it better, Scorpio. Yo, it makes it worse. Spirit say, what's your word for? Spirit say, if you are abundant, if you really, really believe it, then your emotions, your your uh, movement, 
your thought process, the words that you speak is going to say those things. Spirit say you ain't going nowhere, Scorpio, because you are firmly planted on the ground. What are you worried about? All you have to do is release some negative things that may be standing in your way because it, it happens. This is life. But check it out, Scorpio. You seem to be on a roll here. You own this, this little theme roll here, Scorpio. About your worth, you deserve so many amazing things, so Scorpio. This energy continues to show up and show out for you, Scorpio. Your overall energy, Scorpio, happens to be the Empress. I say the Empress. I say she's fertile. She's fertile. She's fertile, Scorpio. You fertile. It says creation, abundance, action. But you got to take that action here, Scorpio. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't I just say see a two? That a two is. Ain't that there are two? I, I do declare it's a two of water. Two of water. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I just shuffle these cards. But look at here. A look at here. A look at here. So I see where you go right here. Ooh. The emperor. <laughs> what does that? Ooh. The lovers. The will. Six of Wands. You got some major shit going on here, Scorpio. Hold on. I got to make room. I'm a little spin table action. Check this out. The Empress, the Two of Cups, the Emperor, the Six of Wands, the Lovers, the Wheel. The Emperor, let me slow down. Two of Cups says partnership, commitment, reconciliation. That's what the cards say now. Don't come for me. It say reconciliation. And I guess it, I guess it's like when two soul, two souls that are connected when they finally come to come back together. Because you were already, you were already familiar with each other in your first estate here, your spirit form here. So now in this human experience, you're coming back together, which which is really reconciliation here, Scorpio. Then you have the wheel. It says luck, progress, change. See that, Scorpio? You got a mighty, mighty change coming your way in your love life. You see the Empress, and now you have the lovers. Relationship, emotion, choices. Here, there's a choice here. About your relationship and then your emperor. It says organization, leadership, structure. Look at him. Divine masculine here. Six of wands, six of fire. Success, recognition, self-esteem. You're getting a lot of attention. Somebody got their eye on you, Scorpio. There the emperor is again. They ain't going nowhere now. <laughs> now, I don't know what you done did to them and things, but they, they all up in your energy, Scorpio. I see the Virgo energy. I see the Hermit cards. Let's see. Anything else? I see the Hermit card. I see the King of Air. I see the Queen of Fire here too. They go that. They go that Fire and Air again. So this could be it. This is the, this Emperor could be a um, Air sign, and you showing up in this fiery energy. Who is it? Huh? The who? Uh, my daughter, she's not here. That's the who is it for? Because she's not here. She has to sign, don't she? Can anybody sign? God, I'm sorry. I ain't finna start over. Y'all gonna have to hold on. <laughs> Just what happens, y'all.
Okay, he said he smelled my incense all the way outside. <laughs> oh, shit, we be no my goddamn don't like that. What, 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 what? <laughs> I, look, I was 19 minutes in. What in the way in hell? I was finna start that shit over. I don't care. Whatever you you hear, but you 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 didn't hear nothing. Did, you didn't really hear nothing, did you, Scorpio? <laughs> Six of Earth. Somebody trying to get something here, but you got that five of fire. They go that competition, or this is someone here who feels like there's 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 a conflict between you guys here, especially if it's the King of Swords and you're showing up as the Queen of Fire. So, you know, yeah, you know how you can got somebody in their feelings here, Scorpio, and you probably like, I'm the empress, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And they like, yeah, dang, this is soulmate here. So this is a choice, if someone has a choice here, I feel like, but this is a soulmate connection here, Scorpio. Let me clarify these cards. <laughs> oh, shit, I know what. She sees as soon as I sit up here. Let my daughter know she got mail that came over here. <laughs> All right, Spirit, clarify this spread for Scorpio. You should be dealing with the Aries. You got a lot of water energy, Gemini, Virgo, Libra with this Empress, and the King of Swords, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries with the Six of Fire and this Queen of Fire here. So obviously you're getting a lot of attention on you. That's what it is now. And so this old cold ass energy is looking at you like, God dang, should I? I feel like that's what it is. You may be uh, elevating in your life and you're not caring. You may not be caring right now. Especially if you're getting a lot of attention and you're in this Queen of Wands energy here. You may have a lot of attention. You may have a lot of pursuers. Even with this five of wands energy here, you some of you guys may have other people who own you. They want to do things for you. Got the fool card here. Look with the uh, five of wands and the six of pentacles here. You notice that? Uh, remember I told you you're alive. You got the ace of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and the freaking six of pentacles, and it's showing up again. Okay, I'm just saying. So let's see here. Queen of Swords in the reverse. I ain't taking no reverses here. So I'm a card in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Maybe somebody had a choice between you and a, and, the, and this other person here, Scorpio. Here we go with this again. So let's see here, Spirit. Let's start off with this two. Um, what's up with this King of Swords energy, Spirit? It says knowledgeable, uh, objective respected <laughs> they're they're highly respected i know you probably mad at them but this is this is what they have they but they cold though looking at ass standing out there in the winter time holding a, a, a iron cold freezing blade <laughs> but this is someone here who is very very intelligent we can't take that from this person but they're not emotional like that uh and i feel like the contrast is like like i said earlier I feel like for most of y'all, this is a situation where you're in a situation where the op opposite is attracting here. But it's weird. It's a weird thing. They're weird. <laughs> I say they're weird. Because you got the Queen of Wands, old sexy Queen of Wands. Then you got this old detached, cold-ass King of Swords looking over there at the Queen of Wands. And she like, psst, psst. you looking over here at me for? I, I don't want you. I don't want that. I got options. <laughs> so let's see here. All right, let's start with the King of Swords. Spirit, clarify this King of Swords for Scorpio. Why is this here? King of Swords is three of cups. They want to take you out here, Scorpio. Maybe they want to rekindle a flame here. Maybe they want to hang out with you. Maybe they want, ooh, the lovers. Mm. This person want to get down. <laughs> they want to get down now. I'm not sure if they're trying to. I feel like this person, maybe this person want to act. Maybe this person want friends with benefits because I see the three of cups and the love of Scorpio, the Gemini energy. They're trying not to see it, but that's what that's what it looked like. Oh, seven of pentacles here. So maybe this person feels like they're, um, maybe something can grow out of this. Maybe they're waiting here. Uh, 
maybe this person wants to plant roots. Maybe this person wants to finally do something towards this relationship here. Because like I say, you got the six of pentacles in here. Somebody wants to give something here. And I feel like it's this king of swords, which is probably a daddy. They probably have children. Um, but then again, you're the empathy that see Scorpio. The, the thing about this energy is that you guys are two of bosses here. Both you guys are stubborn. Uh, you know, your worth and them, they probably, you know, cold detached, feel like they want to run shit, but they don't want any attachments because they are detached, but they find you so beautiful, so attractive, uh, so mystical, so alluring, so secretive here. And, and I feel like you may not even be paying this pace person any attention, especially if you have you know, your own success in the six of ones, you got things going on good for you in your own life. So you probably ain't even studying the asses. Now what's up with this queen of wands? It says intelligent, exuberant, determined here. See, they know you're going to get it done here, Scorpio. And, and you ain't chasing up behind them, obviously, because they trying to figure out how to get back to you. All right, spirit. What's up with this queen of fire for Scorpio? Queen of Fire is Eight of Wands. Now, see, you could be traveling. You could have been moved on. Now, maybe this person wants to reach out to you and talk about it, Scorpio. The world card. See, some of y'all going to be traveling a lot. Maybe this person lives at a distance. Oh, this is the wheel here. You got, you got the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Fire here. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Fire for Scorpio. Mm. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, Ten of Pentacles. See, see, I told you. I feel like maybe somebody's trying to come to you. Maybe someone wants to talk about building this long-term relationship with you, Scorpio. Because somebody's stressing out again. See, they were stressing out in the other one here. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's up with this Queen of Wands? Mm -mm. Look, the Emperor. Now, for some of y'all, y'all bossing up, but I feel like you're the Empress. But for some of y'all, it's this Emperor that's trying to come in and give you this, okay? This Emperor is trying to give you this. The same emperor, that ten of pentacles. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they have children, Scorpio, and you may have children too. But this is your soulmate. But maybe someone has to make a decision. Maybe you do. Maybe this queen of wands is someone else. Maybe this is someone here who they were traveling to see. Maybe it's somebody they were traveling to see that, that was in this long-term, long-distance relationship here. Ooh, Scorpio, let's see. Because somebody has a choice here. Clarify this queen of fire. I feel like it's you, though. Page of swords here. So this is them keeping tabs on you. Somebody's watching. They're watching you. You know they're watching you because you got the six of fire here. Success. You got a lot of recognition, a lot of notoriety. You got attention on you. But somebody, somebody is trying to figure out something, obviously, because you got the Page of Swords. So what are they trying to figure out in this Hermit energy? This Hermit energy says introspection, self-discovery, mentorship. So this person's trying to figure out what is best for their life, I feel like. Could be a Virgo here. Spirit, clarify the Hermit for Scorpio. Why is this card here for Scorpio? Clarify. <clears throat> Page of Wands here. The student, this person is trying to learn something here. Knight of Pentacles. They want to come in and bring you something stable and solid here, but I feel like they don't know how here. They go to World Card. Maybe it's a cycle over with you and this person here. This is someone here who is you over. You, you're done with this person and you're doing good. You move on. But they got an urge for some Scorpio here. This is someone here who is considering. Because like I said, I don't see no movement. I see the eight of wands. I feel like they want to come to you. you. Some of you guys could very well receive a message from this person trying to figure out 
can they do this with you or are you open to it? But I feel like this person is timid because you got the page of wands. That's immature energy here. Why is the hermit here, spirit? Mm. Queen of Swords here. You got the King of Swords. You got the Queen of Swords here. I feel like someone is being held up by something else here. Someone is probably being held up by his Queen of Swords. Or maybe it's this person here. Maybe they feel like you're cold and you're detached from them, Scorpio. But I don't see it. Because there's somebody's watching. Somebody's watching. Like I say, somebody watching here. Here we go again. Somebody's watching. So I see the Knight of Swords here. Somebody is watching that emperor. Now, if you were dealing with this person, they were watching this person come in to you. And I feel like it's somebody who they were with. They're watching this person here come in to you. Somebody could have found some messages here. Queen of Wands. The uh, is it Queen of Wands. The Eight of Wands. See? Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. Some messages coming in to this Queen of Wands here. I feel like this is you. With the six of wands. See, from this emperor. This emperor who has money. Somebody's been watching this emperor. And they money. See, somebody watching this emperor because they have money. They probably trying to see what they doing with it. Somebody trying to see who that uh, emperor is spending their money on. Are they going to get somebody else to settle down with? This is what I feel like it is. Maybe somebody hired an investigator here. See, somebody's watching this emperor. You see that somebody's watching this emperor. And it's about money. Mm. So, so somebody could be watching their emperor and find out about you, Scorpios, what I see. Their emperor, their child's father, somebody. So I feel like whoever this person is, is kind of blocking their movement. This is why someone is soul searching. They're trying to figure out something. They could have children with this person, maybe. It's like somebody's trying to come in and bring something solid, but they're they're held up. Somebody's trying to come to you, but they're being held up here. They got they, it's like somebody is serious, but somebody is in the way. This is why somebody's gonna have to make up their mind. For some of y'all, y'all have moved on. You're very, very successful. You got a lot of good things coming on for you. You, This is what's going on in their life. This ain't got nothing to do with you because some of y'all ain't even dealing with this person. Or maybe you are still. Maybe you are. Now, what's up with this six of fire here? Success, recognition, self-esteem here. Six of fire for Scorpio Spirit. Clarify. Six of fire. Six of swords. Now, see, I feel like this is you. You moved on. You had to, see, the only way you was going to get your shit right is you moved away from that. Moved away from this swords, all this sword shit they got going on. You was like, uh-uh, I don't need that in my life. So I feel like you moving away uh, brought your passion back, uh, made you want to go for things, made you want to get your shit together. Because you got the queen of wands here. Queen of wands is taking action here. You're taking actions. You're getting things done. You're growing in this empress here. You're getting a lot of victory and success after you moved away from this king of swords who was attached to a queen of swords. See, this person is choosing you, but I feel like this person is scared because they don't know if, if something's going to work or, or they're waiting to see about some money here. They're waiting to see if something's going to grow us out of something. So for some of y'all, this person may... Maybe trying to come to you because, like I said, you got the lover's card. I feel like they're choosing you, Scorpio, and somebody is watching them. Six of Wands for Scorpio. See, Knight of Cups. You moved on. See, they go that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. See, it's somebody about money that's with this person here, Scorpio. But this person is coming in here to swoop you off your feet. This is somebody here who, as soon as you moved away and you're getting a lot of success and victory in your life, now here they come because. It's a pull on them. See this queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles in reverse is using her intuition here. Her intuition is telling her something. Who about her, her, her person here. Clarify six of wands. Y'all hear the wind. 
see? They stressed out about it. You see her? She's stressed out about it. She is stressed out. Whoever this other person, I feel like it's that queen of swords energy, the dealing with that king of swords energy. She has been watching her emperor. This boss here could be a, her, her child's father here. But this emperor is coming after you. And they watching this emperor, see? Stressed out because of this king of swords, see? Told you. It's about that king of swords. What this king of swords is trying to come in to you. <laughs> this, this person, they got somebody stressed out. This is why she has been watching. Could have, could be somebody, somebody watching this emperor, somebody who this person who, this is why they need to make up. This is why they got the lover's card here twice. I feel like it's this emperor now. I feel like this is going on behind the scenes. This ain't got nothing to do with you personally uh, because you're not um, directly involved, especially if you've moved on. You move on and you don't give a damn. You about you now. But by you moving on and not going backwards, but moving forward here, getting away from whatever mental conflict and shit that they had going on. I feel like they, they were used to each other. That's what they did. They didn't need love. The king and queen of swords, they were probably all about their career, all about money, all about money in their career, success. But you were getting success because you moved away. By you moving away, it got this king of swords energy back on you. Now they're, now they're thinking about you. Now they're introspecting. Now they're trying to come. They're trying to make a, a big decision because even though you're not pulling at them, it's like this soulmate connection is pulling at them. And whoever this person they are was with is saying that their person in, in, uh, attention is being shifted somewhere else. So now they're stressed out about it because they feel like this person's out here trying to offer their love to somebody else here. Yep, because they watching. See, I'll show you again. This person is watching this emperor with this money. It's about money. It's a, maybe it's what they built together. She watching the emperor because she's trying to figure out what you're going to do. What are you looking for here? You finna go start over somewhere else? Well, it's almost like she worried about the money. That's what she worried about. Like she don't want nobody else to get this, this long term, get the luxury life or get this here. So she watching that emperor here because the emperor is trying to make something happen with this queen of wands, which is you, the empress. Now, whether you masculine or feminine, it don't matter. You got the emperor and the empress here. I'm just saying, I feel like this, this is, this is you, Scorpio, whether you are feminine or masculine, it's, it's you. Ooh, Scorpio, now, now you got the lover's card again. Why is this lover card here again? It says relationship, emotions, choices here. Decisions, choices here. Spirit, clarify the lovers for Scorpio, the, uh, uh, Gemini energy. The lovers is <laughs> the sun. For some of y'all, it's a Leo. Leo, Gemini, major arcana. See, this is, see, this person's in the middle of, see, the wheel. It's about time in here. But see, this person's being deceptive here. It's the same shit, but they're not being deceptive to you no more, Scorpio. You done got out the way. They're being deceptive to themselves and to this person who they're with. Because they want to change. It's a change coming. And they're not being honest. See, they're not being honest. They didn't already made up their mind. See, 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 they not already made up their mind who they want. It's the Empress. <laughs> oh, shit, they not already made up their mind. They want the Empress here and they chick don't like it because they, they ain't saying you know the king of swords don't say nothing they just move funny and they wonder why 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 are you acting so different well what's wrong what got your attention you're not the same here let, let me make sure you ain't finna get nobody else this money see there they want that empress which is you because now they see you as marriage material because the first the queen of pentacles was in reverse See, somebody money hungry that they would, or they don't, they not, they mishandling money. But now they're seeing you as marriage material. See that? They stepping out on that person. They, cause it's a change coming on and they're not saying nothing. This person is making a change, but they're not saying nothing. See? 
the high priestess, but the truth is going to come out anyway. It's coming out though, because somebody has been watching. See, I feel like they not, I feel like whoever your person, they not saying nothing. They just moving funny. But since whoever they went watching, spirit say the truth coming out anyway. It's coming out. Ace of Swords. And what's coming out, Scorpio, is that this person has more passion for you. They go to King of Swords. I mean, the King of Wands. See, you sitting here as the Queen of Fire. See, somebody's going to be in their feelings once they fi figure out that, that this is a twin flame connection here. I mean, they, they got a twin flame connection too, but it's a cold connection. Y'all got a lot of passion. Queen and King of Swords here, see? And, and they're going to find out for some of y'all, this person may have taken a break from their old relationship. And that's when they, uh, they may have taken a break from their Queen of Swords. And that's when they met you, Scorpio. And somebody's going to find out about it. Some of y'all met this person. They was taking a break from their other connection here. Maybe they were in a long distance here because I see the world card. Ah, Scorpio. Ah, Scorpio love seems so complicated. It do, but I know it's not. It's just that we make it so complicated. So now you have the wheel. It says luck, progress, change. You got two changes. You got the wheel and you got the wheel card twice. See? This is inevitable. Whatever's happening, it's going to happen. I don't care what they find out because they're going to find out some truths here, but the change is still going to happen. They can't change. You got two wheel of fortunes here. And see, this queen of swords is trying to figure out some things here. Now, she could be the one that's trying to introspect or trying to figure out what's going on. She's trying to figure out what happened. What happened? She's just trying to figure out. It could be her. It could be them. Somebody trying to figure out something here. Now, she could be saying, I'm trying to figure out what the hell happened between us. Now, this person's acting immature and acting like things are slowing down between us. It's like this person ain't, ain't got the passion. They, they taking their time about establishing stuff. Well, this person act like they're not even serious anymore. What's the problem here? So, she going to get the digging. And she's going to find out that it's you, which is the Empress. See? The Empress. All right, Spirit, the wheel. I'm just a reader. Now, don't come for me. It ain't for everybody. It's a general. Somebody, person, some this King of Swords, because I know y'all been dealing with this King of Swords. Y'all, this is what come out. This King of Swords here, you probably ain't talked to this person. You too busy on your grind doing things for you, Scorpio. You ain't. You got away. You, you moved in the Six of Swords because I feel like you was tired. This person had you confused. You know the King of Swords is detached, but it's because they had a Queen of Swords, okay? But when you move on, it's what made this person start looking back your way, okay? To the point where they're wanting you, but it's making whoever they're with look. And they're going to find out that this person's coming after you, Scorpio. So the wheel, Spirit, why is the wheel of fortune here? Let's clarify the wheel. The wheel is temperance. See, this person want what they want, Scorpio. They not they see it's something changed, but I feel like they're trying to rush the change because they need love. They need the passion. This person got a boner. They want you, and I feel like the the passion that you gave compared to what they were getting there, it's not the same. This person want to hurry up. They want things to happen. They want things to happen, but that, that that's not being fair here. See, they want to rush and do it the wrong way, but they don't know with this wheel. They, they creating karma for themselves if they don't do it right. Could be a Sagittarius. The wheel. <laughs> See? <laughs> Four wands here. See, this is what they want. They want this with you. They trying to hurry up and get it. See? The magician. They're trying to get you back. And for some of y'all, this person going to walk away. But they they, they want to be successful, see? Some of y'all walked away from this person. This is why you are getting victory and success because you do have the six of wands right here. Because this person, they doing something. They trying to get away. They trying to get away. But that's them. If you to move on, Scorpio, I, I don't see nobody else on here. So now you have the emperor, the empress, 
and the two of cups. Ah, put this two of cups between the emperor and the empress. Now let's start off with this two of cups because this is your energy between the two of you, I feel like. All right, spirit, clarify the two of cups. For Scorpio, why is the two of cups here? Clarify the two of cups. Two of cups, two of pentacles. They could have been juggling this relationship or back and forth in their head here. Should they come work it out or should they leave it, leave it alone? But I feel like this person here is trying to figure out how to come back to you. Two of cups for Scorpio. Or maybe this person juggled you because I see this queen of swords. Or maybe you're going to have to... See, somebody got a decision to make. That's why the two of pentacles is there. It's almost like this person's trying to figure out, should I come to this connection who I feel this emotional love? I feel this connection. Or to, do I go to this queen of swords who there's, there's, not any, there's not any death, there's not any emotions, any passion. It's just we go for money. We do good. You know, we, we, you know, we, we got the same objectives here. See, somebody don't know what to do. Look, two of pentacles, two of swords here. Somebody finna, see, somebody finna go for it blindly here. They said, it's almost like somebody saying, any minute, money, mo. <laughs> they don't, they coming for your love, see? King of swords. person here was trying so hard to figure out what to do about this two of, con two of cups connection Scorpio and I feel like this person was just trying to either they were juggling this connection or this person was in their head back and forth what should they do and I feel like what's gonna happen is they're going for it this ace of cups like I say the cups is overruling the swords for them now what's up with this empress let's do the empress here spirit clarify this empress for Scorpio The Empress is King of Swords. <laughs> they want that Empress. Didn't I tell you? They want that Empress. They want you. For some of you guys, this person's going to apologize to you, Scorpio, with the Page of Cups. Because they want this Ten of Cups here, Scorpio. See there? This person has a lot of passion for you once again. And ever since you start caring about yourself and, and doing your own thing, this person has been regretting and missing you ever since. And this person here has still been holding on to you. But somebody is finna get hurt, though. See, this is something finna happen here. See, this person holding on to you. I told you they after you, the Queen of Wands. They're trying to give you this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. Okay, you got the Sun card. And somebody's right on their ass too, Scorpio. They right on them. They on them. Now you have the emperor. Aries energy. So you have Aries, Libra, Libra, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Gemini. And you got all these swords. You got the six of swords, nine of swords, seven of swords, page of swords, king of swords, two of swords. And you got cups, which kind of because you got the three of cups. See, let's see, this is why they want you because you come with emotions. This is what they like. King of Swords, Three of Cups. They say you you have a something about your energy. It's emotional. They need that. See there? They say this is good for them. They said something can grow from this. They know something can grow from this. This is why they coming to you with that Ten of Pentacles as the Empress. Whoever they were with, Scorpio, they felt like they were not on the same level as a connection that they felt with you. Mm -hmm. And whoever they with is heavy on their ass because they ain't no fool. They see. So now you have the emperor here. Spirit, clarify the emperor. Aries energy for Scorpio. Why is this here? Clarify the emperor. Clarify 
Butterfly the Emperor for Scorpio. The Emperor is death. Mm. Your Emperor could be a Scorpio or maybe you ended it with your Emperor. Or maybe the Emperor is ending something. Seven of Cups, maybe they're ending other options or confusion. Let's see, the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here, Spirit? Knight of Swords, see, they, they done fell out with somebody. They fallen out with somebody. See, there's some type of aggression here, see? King of Pentacles. See, there is probably a relationship. It was about money because we've seen that Queen of Pentacles show up in the reverse. But I feel like then it came back around in the upright with the Empress. So like I say, they no longer want whoever they with. Now they see you as marriage material. But I feel like somebody had them. That it was a delay. It was a delay with this person here. Because the hermit that somebody was clueless. Somebody didn't understand what was going on in their relationship, Scorpio. I feel like someone was just going along to get along and they didn't understand it. See, but they ended it, whatever relationship they end, it, it was, it was, it was a lot of, it was a lot of uh aggression here with that, with that knight of with that knight of swords here. When this king of swords ended something, there was a lot of uh, a lot of shit talking here. See, something here, but this is why this person had to sacrifice here. This person's making a sacrifice to come to you because they're changing their perception. After they even had this big blowout with this ending, that this, this emperor, which is this king of swords, I feel like had with this queen of swords. That's what I feel. That's what I feel, Scorpio. We'll pull a couple more cards, then I'll pull you some of these uh, manifestation cards. What else for Scorpios in love, Spirit? What else do you need Scorpio to know? Five of air, see? Mistakes, melodrama, reassessment. See, this was going on in their life, this five of swords energy. They into it. They, they got the sword thing going on. This is why you moved away in the six of swords because you got tired of it here. But that person coming to you, I just seen a night of fire. Person could be a little bit younger than you, Scorpio. Six of air, see? They're getting the hell away too, you see? You left they ass because they was toxic. Now they're leaving whatever situation they were in because it was toxic. I feel like five of swords, five of air, and the six of air, see? Because they, they ended it with the knight of swords. So yeah, there was a lot of drama going on. But I feel like it's because they changed. And the reason why they changed, Scorpio, because you no longer cared. The King of Swords, Seven of Water. See, this person here was just just, just doing something. They're the King of Wands, King of Fire, the uh, Queen of Fire here. Same energy here. Eight of Air. Someone is getting unstuck. They're not, no longer stuck in this situation, Scorpio. Whatever situation they were in, they are releasing themselves because they realize that whoever they're with don't make them happy. But whoever they are with is watching their ass and they're going to find out that this person is moving on towards you. Okay, Scorpio? So let's see. All right, Spirit. What messages for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know at this current time for manifesting here, Spirit? Scorpio. And it's chilly outside. It's been got cold. It wasn't like, y'all. It was just 70 degrees <laughs> yesterday. Now it's 50 something. Woo, and the wind blowing. So I ain't trying to go out there. Might make me a big pot of stew. So you have last quarter moon in Cancer. Take a breather, Scorpio. Spirit says take a breather here. Could be Pisces energy here, but it says take a breather here. Take a breather here. Step back. Regroup. Step back from negative situations, and I feel like you are. Relax. Just, just breathe it out. Inhale, exhale. Let it out. 
Don't don't carry baggage around, Scorpio, because it's only going to bring you down. Then you have new moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. Scorpio, focus on the positive. You remember that other card was telling you, you, you sometimes your perception is wrong. You mad and you don't see things right. Lighten up. See, the spirit say lighten up. Gee whiz. How you going to find something and you all mean as things here, Scorpio? See there? Lighten up, lighten up here, spirit tell you. And it says, reflect on your priorities. Lighten up, reflect on your priorities at this time. Put yourself above things and people. And then you got full moon in Aries. Cool your emotions. There you go again, see? Because some of y'all mad at this person, and I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but it is your soulmate here. Y'all mad at this person here, and y'all don't want to talk to them no more, and they done already chose you, and some of y'all saying you don't care, but I know some of y'all do. I don't care what you say. I don't care. I'm just saying. It's telling you the energy of these cards here, especially if there is a, time, a chance that you could actually be with somebody and build something. Now, you know you have your free will now, Scorpio. Don't get mad at the reader. Don't get mad at what comes up in this reading because this reading is not the one that, that runs your life. You are. So please don't live by no, no tarot reading. You have to put in their work so that you can create your own reality, Scorpio. Spirit says lighten, lighten up. Uh, focus on the positive so that positive things can manifest in your life, Scorpio. Scorpio, you got this, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you all. I welcome you guys to join my membership for highly favored Scorpios. Thank you to all of my non-members. You guys are all beautiful in my eyes. I appreciate you so much, Scorpio. And if this video resonates, please thumbs up this video. Uh, leave me a high vibrational comment. Hit that notification bell, Scorpio, to all. So whenever I go live, you will never, ever, ever miss it. And we can interact and love on each other together, Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpio. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, Scorpio.